Collaborative divorce is a process by which parties can get together in a non-adversarial way in an effort to resolve their differences. They uh, get to participate in the process with their respective collaborative lawyers. Uh, the entire event is really designed to reduce conflict, allow them to participate in the process, allow them to uh, discuss their concerns, their objectives, their fears, and then work toward an amicable resolution to their divorce. Typically in litigation, the attorneys control the negotiations and then report back to their clients what the status is. And, you know, there's sometimes four-way meetings. I mean, even in litigation, good attorneys try to keep their clients out of court. But it tends to be much more polarizing. The focus in litigation tends to be on the past and what was wrong with the marriage and what was wrong with the parties, whereas in mediation, and in collaborative divorce, it's very future focused. It's really an effort to get the, the parties and the family uh, to focus on what's gonna be best in the future for themselves and their children. And it really spends much less time delving into what was wrong in the marriage. Typically, in collaborative divorce and mediation, there is far less post-judgment work. Um, because people aren't, don't leave the process as polarized or as angry. The focus also is really on you know, what's underlying their positions on things and what are their real interests and how can we accommodate those interests in a way that everybody can move forward in the, in the best possible manner. The mental health coach is a licensed mental health professional that becomes part of the team uh, during the collaborative divorce process. The coach is experienced and knowledgeable in the area of divorce and divorce process and is specifically trained in collaborative divorce to help you and your family get through divorce as peaceful and as easily as possible. The coach also has a great deal of experience in working with children and families to be able to identify the individual needs of children based on their development and their age. The role of the attorneys is obviously to represent their respective clients within the confines of the collaborative process and under the rules and the objectives of the collaborative process. Uh, the roles of the clients are equally important because they're, designed, they're there to participate at every level and to understand uh, the discussions, the agreements, and the objectives of, of uh, both of them as well as the process itself. The financial neutral in a collaborative divorce does not represent either party, but what, what the financial neutral does is educate and coach both parties so they can make educated decisions both on asset division, income division, and other financial matters. The, the financial neutral will assist them in understanding values for, for hard to value assets. Uh, they will assist them on budgets and they will also assist them on income. So there's various financial questions, tax issues that come up that the financial neutral will assist the two parties in resolving. Collaborative divorce really gives people the opportunity to focus on the future and to create a healthy co-parenting relationship when there are children involved and it also tends to be far less expensive than the traditional adversarial model. Um, collaborative divorce also gives people an opportunity to sort of transform their relationship and to bring some healing to what is otherwise a very difficult and a very profound time in people's lives. The mental health coach is able to sit with you and with your partner to develop a parenting plan that works for you and your children. It is focused and developed and tailor-made to suit your family's needs based on what you tell me they are. The beauty and value of the Connecticut Collaborative Divorce Group is that it is the largest interdisciplinary group in the state of Connecticut and actually the only interdisciplinary group in the Hartford area. And the group is committed to the highest quality of service. We meet regularly and there is ongoing and pretty rigorous skill building and training 
and it built, there's a high level of trust and support so that the members really know each other and work well together and that all operates to serve our clients in the best way possible.